हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टीच यू स्टैंडर्ड एट सब्जेक्ट जोग्राफी लेसन नंबर फाइव ओशन करंट्स स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी सम इम्पॉर्टेंट पॉइंट्स ओशन करंट्स हॉरिजोंटल दैट इज सरफेस ओशन करंट्स एंड इफेक्ट्स ऑफ द ओशन सर्फेस दैट इज करंट्स ऑन ह्यूमन लाइफ फर्स्ट Let's recall. When does any material flow? What happens exactly when it flows? Which anomalies in the material is responsible for the initiation of the flow? Now, students, can anybody tell me what is ocean currents? Okay, let me tell you before starting our chapter. Ocean currents. the term current describes the motion of the ocean that is the movement of the ocean and ocean current is a continuous directed movement of sea water generated by a number of forces acting upon them water including temperature density and planetary winds understood these are called ocean currents students here is a experiment you can try this at home but only under the supervision of your parents here material required are a large metal tray water plastic sequence spirit lamp etc the procedure is keep the large metal tray on a stand fill it with water after the water becomes still leave the sequence in them after some times the sequence will start flowing in the water and become still too observe all these things after some time light the spirit lamp and place it below one corner of the tray then observe what happens on the basis of observation you have to write your answers geographical explanation it will occur to you that as the temperature of water increases the plastic sequins move from one place to another as the temperature rises the density of water decreases and it becomes lighter and therefore the water having lower temperature which is heavier replaces the water with higher temperatures after some time the sequence start moving in a circular motion there is movement of this sequence because of the flow of water students you know a very strange incident occurred in the pacific ocean in the year 1992 a cargo ship sailed towards america from hong kong while traveling through the pacific ocean near the hawaii island a container full of toys fell into the ocean and broke around 28000 rubber toys started floating on the ocean this incident occurred on 10th january 1992 now a strange thing happened what was a strange thing after around 10 months on 16th november 1992 some of these toys reached the coast of alaska some of them crossed the bering strait and move up to the arctic ocean by the year 2000 and some of them also floated to atlantic ocean from the arctic some of these reached the eastern coast of america in 2003 and some of the toys had even reached the european coast by 2007 from the hawaii islands some toys took the route to australia you can see in this picture given below now let us see geographical explanation about this the ocean water can be divided into two parts based on depth surface water and deep water the upper layer extends up to 500 meters from the sea level 
below 500 meter depth the region from sea level to the depth of 500 meter is considered to be the surface water and sunlight can reach till this depth the movements in this layer occur mainly due to differences in temperature as well as salinity the planetary winds give speed to the ocean currents now let us see horizontal surface that is horizontal ocean current what is horizontal ocean current the flow on the surface of the ocean moves only 10% of the oceanic water the surface flow is considered up to 500 meters of depth the discharge of water in the oceans is measured in swardrup unit it is equivalent to 1 million cubic meter per second discharge the horizontal flow of ocean water occurs as warm and cold currents these currents flow from the equator to the poles and from the poles to the equator these currents are pushed long distances by the planetary winds as a result the ocean water flows from equator to both the poles and vice versa you have studied the map given in the figure 5.4 earlier right? now with the help of figure 5.4 in your textbook page number 37 we are going to answer this following questions so our first question is what are the major types of ocean currents answer there are two major types of ocean currents first warm ocean currents second cold ocean currents okay now our second question is what do you call the currents flowing from the equator to the poles answer the currents flowing from equator towards the poles are called ocean currents third question what do you call the currents flowing from the poles to the equator answer the currents flowing from the equator to the poles are called cold ocean currents moving forward with the fourth question when the currents are moving in a circular manner what differences is visible in their direction in northern and southern hemisphere respectively answer is in the northern hemisphere ocean currents are moving in clockwise direction and in anti clockwise direction moving in the southern hemisphere fifth question what might happen at the place where these currents meet answer is at the places where cold and the warm currents meet thick fog is formed next when two different types of currents meet along the coast then what type of human settlements and occupation are seen answer regions where cold and warm currents meet plankton vegetation algae etc grow this is the food for the fish therefore fish come here in large numbers and breed this led to formation of large fishing grounds example grand bank near the northern america geographical explanation we have studied that ocean currents are formed due to differences in temperature density and planetary winds in addition to this the following reasons are also responsible for the direction of flow of ocean currents and their velocity let us see what are the reasons first is rotation of the earth 
because of the rotation of the earth the ocean currents move in clockwise direction in the northern hemisphere and in anti clockwise direction in the southern hemisphere now let us see next that is continental structure according to the alignment of the coastline the direction of the ocean current changes the velocity of the ocean current is around 2 to 10 km per hour the ocean currents are divided into two types that is cold currents and warm currents now let us have a look on the effects of ocean surface currents on human life ocean currents specially affect the climate of the regions having proximity to the sea in cold regions where warm ocean currents flow climate becomes warmer and in some regions the amount of precipitation increases for example the warm ocean currents flowing near western europe southern alaska and japanese coast reduce the intensity of the winters they and make them warmer as a result these parts do not freeze in winters had ocean currents been absent the ocean water would have remained still in such waters the biotic components would have been devoid of food consequently marine life and its ecosystem would have been limited in this extent in the regions like where cold and warm currents meet plankton vegetation algae etc grow this is food for the fishes therefore fish come here in large numbers and breed this has in turn led to formation of large fishing grounds grand bank near the north american coast in atlantic ocean and dogger bank near the european coast are some of these examples with respect to the water transport to the ocean currents are very important if the transportation is done according to the flow of ocean currents the speed of the ships increase and the fuel is saved also near the coast where cold currents flow the amount of precipitation is low for example in peru chile and the arid desert of southwest africa at places where the cold and the warm currents meet thick fog is formed such fogs create problems for transportation the warm gulf stream and the cold labrador currents meet near the new found land island this leads to dense fog in the area because of the cold currents icebergs are carried away from the polar areas if such icebergs come along the marine routes they are hazardous to the ship they can harm the ship one good example i can give you that is titanic yes we are aware about the titanic ship titanic ship due to strike of iceberg sink down you can see in this picture and we all have also seen this movie right thank you